and I mean a lot of battles. By the way, also, two free revives! Not that I'm complaining about how good these item boxes are, but damn, they just pour these items onto you. And in fact, yeah, doesn't try to stop us from getting this free pee, -pee up either. In this area might be recognizable. You might recognize this as the room where Wes stole the snag machine five years ago. There's even the wall he busted down while he was going into a sweet ride. Yeah. See, it's a historical site. Indeed it is. If you want to go back to the main area and heal, you can walk out of here but not back in. That's really all I have to say about that. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna off-screen fight all those trainers that you can talk to, but they won't necessarily fight you, and I'll meet you guys back where we started this video. Haven't been earning much money lately, so you couldn't repair this wall. Yeah, it's because you bought a whole bunch of revives and hyper potions to stick on your floor. I've heard this stuff makes a really great interior decorating. Alright, we're back. So what does Snagum HQ have for us now? More free items, uh, more trainers that will not challenge us. I can't really think of anything else that I can say about it. Hey look, more free items! TM29, what does that contain? I think it's psychic like it is in every game though, but let's see. Or is that 28? Nope, I was wrong! It is indeed psychic! Now, question is, do I use this? Let me think about... Hey, you! You're that kid! You must have come here for the snag machine! He's walking over to us. And for that pun, he battles me. Wonderful. So yes, we gotta fight Biden, then Walkin'. And I think you know what's coming up next after this battle with Walkin'. I, I really hope you do. And he's got Gloom Gloom for his starting Pokemon. I'm sorry, I just think that's kinda cool, because Gloom always says Gloom twice whenever it talks. He's got a things to say about Grumpig, so I'm kinda just done there. Alright, go ahead and start walking away. Leaving your boss doing trying to take you head on was a bad idea. Yeah, see, you were smarter before. You got dumber as time went on. Here, he likes the move Hyper Beam. A lot. Just saying. Okay. Uh, gonna go for the Psychic on Vileplume, and I'm going to predict that he's gonna go for the kill on Mustache there. So, I'm switching out to Voltaire, seeing what I can do there. Didn't mean to rhyme thar, but I did thar. I... Okay, there, I'm just trying to... 32 Steel Flying Type. Keen Eye for its ability. Hyper Beam, Aerial Ace, is all my notes say on this thing. I know. There is a laughable dearth of information on Ore across the internet. And that's really all my research has turned up. If other moves, hopefully we'll see them, but this is all the moves that I know of that thing having. I am really, really sorry. I searched to the ends of the earth trying to find more information on Ore. And there just isn't that much out there. I know, it kind of sucks, but this is really all that my research came up with. Let's go for a shockwave. Almost a spark shock, it's not Mega Man. Wow, uh, we didn't even get to see that thing attack. Gonzap, you've gotten soft. Let me guess, you haven't battled anyone this strong in five years. I know. You and everyone else in this godforsaken place. Sonic Boom! Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom. Sonic boom. It's a lot you have to do whenever there's that attack used. Okay. Second, gotta finish it off. We got this fight without losing a single Pokemon. Not bad. I know that Jinzo is high level, but damn. That was not hard at all. We are done here. Voltaire grows a level. And that's it. Snagum head Gonzap goes down. No! He had to move his mouth three times to say that one syllable. He's got a fanny pack, guys. <laughs> Look at him, he's wearing a fanny pack. That is amazing. If we had your expertise in the snag machine, we'd have no trouble crushing Cypher. But fine, a promise is a promise. Here, take your snag machine back. <laughs> Are you serious, Gonzo? After all the trouble we went through to get it? Weren't we gonna use that thing to teach Cypher a lesson for dumping us? This kid's fighting to bring Cypher down, right? Him and us were both after the same thing. Here, kid, take it. You can have your snag machine back. We got it back! Good thing the crime lords are men of their word, right? That thing didn't fit my arm anyway. <laughs> Oh yeah, I might as well give you this too. Just go show how how I can be generous. Trust me, Gonzap, I know how generous you are. I've been opening the item box. We get Gonzap's key. So there's a chest in the corner of the ground floor, and that's the key to it. Quite as simple as that. 
So, Cypher's secret factory is to the north, and they'll be looking forward to crushing Cypher. But Team Snaggle will be able to get me in control. Gwaha! So, Team Snaggle is fighting alongside us, not really because they're good, but just because, ah, there's a Pokemon eating cheese somewhere. And Mirror B is somewhere. Yes, they're good because. Good God! Freaking radars! Uh. Go south in Gonzep's room, you get two full heals. I know, not really the best item box here, I don't know. You can just walk to the right in that area. You go up here, if you join up now, you'll not only get a day's wages, but also a commuting allowance, even, even box lunch. Depending on your qualifications, you can even receive it to 20% more on paid holidays. You won't find terms as good, huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, they have benefits. You got butt into a job interview, this is what you get. I don't care what dental plan they have. Don't rob the world of your gorgeous blue hair. Never join Team Snaggum, they'll shave it all off. Came here because the pros pay my day's wages and buy my lunch. What is this place all about anyway? Yeah, he did not even know. Trust me, man, save your hair. Okay. So, first of all, before we open that, Gene had an item for us. Let's get it. Antidote. Okay. Should also mention I took the experience here off of Jinzo and gave it to Billy Bob. I think that's a fair compromise. What do we got? A rare candy. Now we got two of these things. Some of you were calling me out on not using it when a Pokemon was about to evolve like I said I was going to. Thing is, there's some much tougher evolutions coming up, so I wanted to save it for those. And now I got two of them, so that's all just as well. Okay. I think that just about does it, though.